If you are new to the hobby of Christmas lighting, you might be asking yourself, what percentage should I run my Christmas light pixels at? Hi, I'm David Henry from LearnChristmasLighting.com. If you've just worked with regular Christmas lights before, you plug them in and they're either usually full or off and you're done. Maybe if you've got incandescents, you're dimming them, but at the end of the day, it's all pretty simple. When it comes to pixels, these little buggers can be really, really bright. And so the question remains, what percentage should I run them at? Well, the truth is there is no hard and fast answer to this question, but if we dive in a little bit, we can find the best answer for you. So there's a few factors that are gonna come into play when we talk about what intensity we want to run our lights at. The first is how bright are these guys anyways? Different brands and different models of pixels are going to have different levels of brightness. And so when you get them up on your house, take a look at them, you know, go out at night, turn them all on and see how different types of pixels vary if you have different types of pixels in your display. The next thing that we're going to see is the pixel pitch or how far the pixels are apart is going to factor in as well. It's going to show us um, that if the pixels are closer together, you won't be able to run them as bright. Whereas if they're further apart, you'll need to run them brighter to achieve the same perceived brightness or how bright it looks to the average viewer. And uh, then, you know, we want to put all these things together. The third being that um, the distance from the viewer. So if the average viewer is right on the curb, I'm pointing out in front of my house here, and they're on the street looking at your display. Some elements of your display may be quite close to them at the end of the sidewalk. Others are going to be quite far, like on the top of a second story. And so the further props will be able to turn be turned up brighter than the closer props. So now, what percentage should you run your props at? Well, a good starting point for a lot of people is to start around 50%. 50% is often a good place where you don't lose too much brightness, but you also don't lose too much resolution in turning them up and down. Okay? Now, this is going to vary a lot on who you bought your pixels from. Some vendors optimize for brightness, which doesn't necessarily help us in the Christmas light hobby. And some optimize for, you know, just bright enough to be good. So you're going to have to test and compare and kind of find a baseline for what you want to set your display to. But once you've done that, you can then go into your controller and be able to tweak different segments of your display. Things that are further away, you can bump up a little. Things that are real close to the viewer, it might look best to bump them down a little. And when you take the different parts of your display and you even them out like this, it's really going to help you have a more cohesive look and make it so that all the different elements of your display appear to be about the same brightness so uh, no part attracts or detracts from the other. Now, if you've liked this video and what we've been, we've been putting down here on Learn Christmas Lighting, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and click that bell to get the latest stuff. I will see you here and on LearnChristmasLighting.com. Have a great day.